I'm bringing sex to Zach. y'all i just finished my workout hopefully that workout that i just showed y'all for my chest and back day hopefully that made some sense hopefully y'all got some insight on what you can do for chest and back day uh adding that in there i ran four miles today non-stop i tripped up on uh when i got to mile three the phone actually dropped but that's why they ain't gonna be up in the video but ran four miles before i actually did my workout but like i said this is my journey to dropping 30 pounds so y'all can follow me along. If y'all want another day where I'm giving y'all another workout that I'll be doing, whether it's leg day, arm day, biceps, all the other type of days that I'm gonna be adding in my workout until I drop these 30 pounds, even when I pass when I drop my 30 pounds, just drop a comment down below. Hit that like button for me as well. Make sure y'all drop a comment. Let me know what y'all wanna see. And I get in tune with y'all on that one. What up y'all? I'm back. I'm headed to this grocery store right now. A lot of you all was asking because I was telling y'all I was going to show y'all how I choose my healthy eating because now I am vegan. It's, it's not like I'm just choosing now to be a vegan or being plant-based. I've been like this for going on a year right now, but I just wanted to show y'all how I actually move about subtracting meats out of my life, all this stuff that's processed and everything like that. I mean, you can have a few things to treat yourself and stuff like that, but I mean, to eat that on a day-to-day -day basis, nah, that ain't what's up. But as far as it goes for anything else when it comes to meat and all that, and nah, that's not my lifestyle. I decided to make that change. The older you get, the, the older your body gets as well. So you gotta make sure that you take care of it. So in this case, in my 30s, Man, I'm making sure that I'm stayed up on everything healthy and moving forward with nutrition. I'm really getting into a lot of that right now. Um, it's been something that's really big on me since uh, 2024. That's what I, That was a huge goal for me to make sure that I was eating just about everything I possibly could. Every vegetable that you can think of, the only thing that I'm not eating, my boy, is beets. If you know exactly what I want to do, then I'm going to get a business too. Yeah. You can bet that, never got to sweat that. You could bet that never gotta 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 sweat that. Look, so I'm not gonna make a, uh, I'm not gonna make a Buddha bowl this week. I'm gonna show y'all that I made a Buddha bowl not too long ago, but I don't, I'm not making a Buddha bowl this week, but I'm gonna show y'all what this look like real quick. So the most powerful thing that you can have for a Buddha bowl to me is right here. Red Swiss shards and green Swiss shards. That's these right here. See red and green. That's red Swiss shards and green Swiss shards. Like the dragon skin is extremely harsh, bro. Like the dragon skin is extremely harsh, but you have to cook it the right way in order for it to taste good. Um, and I actually found a way to make it taste good and I added it in my Buddha bowl and it tastes fine. So y'all gotta explore the green aisles. And I'm not talking about the frozen food section. Like I'm gonna tell y'all about that in a second, but like, just getting it fresh off the produce aisle, bro. Look, it just means that you gotta prepare. That's all it means. You just gotta prepare. And I know people are like, man, I ain't got time for that. Bruh, bruh, your health is time. Make time. Make time for your body to be healthy. That's what you need to do. So when I went on Lent, I started using G Hughes barbecue sauce because it doesn't have any sugar or anything like that. So this G Hughes barbecue sauce is perfect for you. I'm gonna show y'all how I use that. Like with if I do decide to cook, like 
burgers or make mushroom burgers or something like that like literally a burger that's made out of mushrooms but if i make something like that and i put this sauce on it to get like a real kick because they got this sweet and spicy flavor y'all know i like spicy joints so this will be it but i'm gonna show y'all how i usually do it but this is what i'm gonna get in in order to keep that like spice of what i want but at the same time i want something sweet i don't want nothing too hot when i'm eating a burger or something like that or some decent french fries but this is my go-to barbecue sauce when i don't want anything sweet or without sugar in it boom all right y'all i am on the inside lane again i'm not picking nothing that's like sweet or candy or nothing like that i'm getting spices and herbs and stuff like that so what i have for my cheat day is this that sprinkle on like they season it is huge and especially in chicago like lemon lemon uh lemon pepper and stuff like that they've been busting so this right here if i'm trying to like fry my mushrooms and everything like that when i'm trying to have a cheat day instead of having like popcorn chicken or something like that what i eat is i substitute that for like mushrooms and stuff like that i deep fry my mushrooms and they come out with the same type of texture that's something that you could think about but this is what you should get sprinkle on it's the crispy shrimp fry but you get you have multiple options and stuff like that like chicken and stuff depending on what type of like texture you want but in this case this is the type of texture that i like for my mushrooms when i'm trying to fry them on my cheat day and then i have tacos that i'm going to be making with my tofu and then i'm going to make chili tonight which i'm going to show y'all as soon as i get to the crib all right right now i'm in uh another aisle don't judge me but i'm not grabbing nothing um i'm grabbing uh, tomato paste that's what I'm looking for I'm grabbing tomato paste and I'm grabbing fire diced tomatoes yes when you're going inside of an owl you can get uh, canned goods and stuff like that they can be very healthy so in this case I'm making chili tonight so canned goods that's what I add to my my chili we gotta have diced tomatoes we also gotta have some tomato sauce inside and what i get is just like the regular ragu eight i don't get a lot of stuff that's on the inside of it but so i don't use too much garlic i have the garlic that's already added in here so i use this there's simply eight eight ingredients that's on the inside of here check the back check the ingredients it'll tell you it's very healthy at the same time so you're not going to use too many calories when you're grabbing something like that in this case i'm going to have a good healthy robust type of chili so I'm good. I got that. Only thing else I need is black beans and pinto beans, I think. So we got to get that right now. All right, y'all. Like I said, I got beans, got black beans, kidney beans. These will go in my chili. This will be very healthy for me. All right, y'all. I'm headed to the crib right now. Um, where y'all just see me come from was called Pete's. It's Pete's Fresh Market. It's all across Chicago. So going on the inside of there there's this favorite cashier that i like going to my wife t done met her already and everything like that she is really really nice a really nice lady and i'd rather go to her line all the time me and her was just speaking about this i'd rather go to this lady's line even if the line is long this lets you know customer service is huge i'd rather go to this lady line if it's a long line of people, if it's a long line of people, I'd rather go to her lane because she's welcoming, she's kind, she's nice. She gets you in and out, but even in the process, she's talked to you like, hey, how you doing? How's everything going? Did you enjoy your experience here? How's everything going with you? Even if she don't know you, she's just a kind spirit. Even if she don't know you, she's a kind spirit. But then you have some people that will have a shorter line, but they're assholes. So I won't go to that line. You have somebody look at your car like, oh, you got a lot. Yes, it's, I'm packing up for the week or maybe two. Maybe I don't want to come back here. But you have some people that's just anal. And I'm not just saying like that happens in peace. That happened at every store. So if I'm going to go at some other spot, if I'm going to go to a store and I'm going to get in somebody's lane, if I, if, if I can't do checkout on my own, then I go to somebody lane that I feel comfortable with. If, I, if I'm comfortable with you and you a good person and you moving and everything and I know like you will get the lane done, it's P this lady that I actually go to when I'm at peace, she get the line going. All right, y'all back at the crib. Finally got my grocery shopping done. Now what I spent was $70, bro. $70, $70 for a week worth of stuff. Look at that, long list, long list, look. 
a lot of people, what I'm learning is I had to learn this from T and I had to learn this from research as well. If you're shopping on the outside, you're getting everything that's like, uh, you're getting a lot of produce and everything. The things that's more so healthy, but the things that's on the inside, more than likely is processed foods and everything like that. And you end up spending less money when you shop on the outside of the outer ring of any grocery store. So in this case, like you'll see, I got a lot of, I got peppers, potatoes, sweet potatoes, onions, but I got a lot of veggies, green veggies and stuff, tofu and all the things like that. It's shopping on the outside, but I spend less money. That's why I can have a lot of food that actually packs in a lot of nutrients, vitamins and everything, the things that you need in order to nurture your body. All right, y'all real quick, cause I know y'all gonna ask, this is really simple chili and I make it like this every time. You got green peppers and onions up in here. Just dice one, one whole yellow Spanish, one whole Spanish yellow pepper, one whole green pepper. That's it, right? Next, you got one can of fire diced tomatoes. One can of brushed black beans. I got reduced sodium. I could have cooked the beans, but uh, I could have made the beans, but I ain't feel like it, right? Then I got bush kidney beans, as y'all can see. That's kidney beans. They say chili beans, but kidney beans as well. Just one can, all right? All right, next we got one fat man of ragu. Like I said, it's only some eight ingredients in here. Eight simple ingredients in here. So we're going to add that up in here. Add like three fourths of this. You can add like three fourths, so that means like pour all the way until you get to like right here. Or if you want to, you put a whole thing. That's up to you. But I'm gonna pour like three fourths. Yep. All right. After that, just mix it all up. Mix everything in here. So you got veggies, beans, tomatoes, tomato sauce. And that's really it until you want to add like a meat like texture.